Gertrude Bell Elian was an American biochemist and pharmacologist, who shared the 1988 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine with George H. Hitchings and Sir James Black. Working alone as well as with Hitchings and Black, Elian developed a multitude of new drugs, using innovative research methods that would later lead to the development of the AIDS drug AZT. She developed the first immunosuppressive drug, azathioprine, used for organ transplants. Early Life and Education Elian was born in New York City on January 23, 1981-1 to parents Robert Elian, a Lithuanian immigrant and a dentist, and Bertha Cohen, a Polish immigrant. Her family lost their wealth after the Wall Street crash of 1929 when she was 15, her grandfather died of cancer, instilling in her a desire to do all she could to try and cure the disease. She graduated from Hunter College in 1937 with a degree in chemistry and New York University, Master of Science, in 1941, while working as a high school teacher during daytime. Her 15 fellowship applications were turned down due to gender bias at the time, so she enrolled in a secretarial school, which lasted six weeks before she found a job. Unable to obtain a graduate research position, she worked as a food quality supervisor at Aunt P Supermarkets, and for a food lab in New York, testing the acidity of pickles and the color of egg yolk going into mayonnaise. Later, she left to work as an assistant to George H. Hitchings at the Burroughs Welcome Pharmaceutical Company in Tuckahoe, New York, now GlaxoSmithKline. Hitchings was using a new way of developing drugs, by imitating natural compounds instead of through trial and error. He believed that if he could trick cancer cells into accepting artificial compounds for growth, they could be destroyed without also destroying normal cells. She began to work with purines, and in 1950, she developed the anti-cancer drugs Shiaguanine and 6MP. She began to go to night school at New York University Tandon School of Engineering, then Brooklyn Polytechnic Institute, but after several years of long-range commuting, she was informed that she would no longer be able to continue her doctorate on a part-time basis, but would need to give up her job and go to school full-time. Elian made what was then a critical decision in her life, to stay with her job and give up the pursuit of a doctorate. She never obtained a formal PhD, but was later awarded an honorary PhD from New York University Tandon School of Engineering, then Polytechnic University of New York in 1989 an honorary SD degree from Harvard University in 1998. Awards and Honors In 1988 Elian received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, together with Hitchings and Sir James Black for discoveries of important new principles of drug treatment. She was elected a member of the National Academy of Sciences in 1990, a member of the Institute of Medicine in 1991 and a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences also in 1991. Other awards include the National Medal of Science, 1991, Lemelson MIT Lifetime Achievement Award, 1997, and the Garvin Olin Medal, 1968. In 1991 she became the first woman to be inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. In 1992, she was elected to the Engineering and Science Hall of Fame. She was elected a foreign member of the Royal Society, for members, in 1995. Personal Life During her education at New York University, she met a statistician named Leonard, who died from a bacterial infection of his heart valves. She had planned to marry him, so his death prevented her from marrying again. She never had children and listed her hobbies as photography, travel, and listening to music. After Burroughs Welcome moved to Research Triangle Park in North Carolina, Elian moved to nearby Chapel Hill. Gertrude Elian died in North Carolina in 1999, aged 81.